He's my ninjas. Melvin, V, you wouldn't believe what I found out. My parents are in California. I Whoa. thought they were in Florida. Guess they're done with their vacation. Mr. E said that my parents are in California and I need to go there. That can't be right because we found clues at the library that had a picture of me and a clue that was pointing to the Philippines. So are you guys related or not? Well, I am Filipino, so it does make mm -hmm. sense still. Mm -hmm. It's an unknown number again. Oh, that's Mr. E. His signature. Hello? Congratulations. You spy ninjas have found many of the clues. Is there more clues? Can you just tell us straight up? Is Regina and Melvin brother or sisters? Unfortunately, I cannot answer that at this time. If you are pleased with the information you've found thus far, there are more clues on the strip. The more? Yeah, okay. I would love more clues. Search high and low at the Bellagio. <gasps> the Bellagio? It's right back there. Do we have to go into the fountain, Regina? Me and Daniel, <laughs> we watched the fountain show and we thought about you. Oh, it didn't take a romantic turn? So you guys already checked the fountain outside and there was nothing? I did find a video of me and maybe you at the Bellagio when we were kids. I didn't have a chance oh. to go inside yet. We got a film inside? Ah! All right, let's hop to it then. To the Bellagio. Okay, you wouldn't believe that PZ9 actually survived in the library. You know how loud he is all the time? He was able to like talk at a quiet level, which oh. I didn't think was possible. And then he was able to like solve clues and stuff and be helpful. He's getting rid of his PZ ways. He is really trying to be a spy ninja. I like having him around. I'm liking Melvin in the group too. Look at him. Yeah, yeah, especially with his spy ninja gear. Yeah, he's looking good with that fur coat too. He seems like a fashionable guy. Yeah. More fashionable yeah, than Chad and Daniel. What? Back. We are complimenting you. I even said you were more fashionable than Chad and Daniel. Oh, well, thanks. We're in the Bellagio now. Whoa. Oh, let's go to the flower area. What is it called? Pizza. Conservatory, oh, right? Yeah, Project Zorgo has terrible taste. They need to set up their headquarters in a place like this. You look beautiful right now. I'm so amazed with all this art. Let's go, let's go. This is beautiful in it here. It is ultra beautiful. Let's go take a picture over here. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. That was nice. nice. Family photo? Yeah. Speaking of photo, where do you find that? It was just chilling here. It's in that same paper that Mr. E has been leaving us. Is this the same ox as we saw in the art gallery? There's a lot of people. Let's look at it somewhere more quiet. Hey V, how long did it take Regina to get accustomed to being a spy ninja? You know, not that long. I, I just remember a few missions. She tripped a lot, kind of almost ruined it. Eventually she got more stable. You know, her hacking skills really came in handy. Kind of saved some of the missions. So yeah, very quickly. She's on her phone a lot though. Maybe she's hacking. Hopefully I'll get accustomed soon enough. Let's sit down. It's much more quiet over here. So what's on the paper, V? This ox here, there's this guy right next to him. And I feel like we've learned about this guy a lot recently through PZ715. Being in Minnesota, and I know exactly who this guy is. It's Paul Bunyan, his blue ox. Yeah, that was 715's costume at the Halloween competition. Oh, yeah. Why is this a picture? I'm not Minnesotan. This has nothing this... to do with us. Oh, but guys, in the back here, there's a note. What does it say, Melvin? Can you read cursive? Yeah, I have a lot of practice from the last video, <laughs> that's for sure. In a place filled with pearls. Look for the shovels. Shovels? Look for the swirls. Oh, in a place filled with pearls, look for the swirls. <laughs> that makes way more sense than shovels. So, what is a place filled with pearls? Oh. Bottom of the ocean. Yeah, what are those, oysters or yeah. something? Like oyster bar. <laughs> oh. Yes. oh! We're eating. And then a place with swirls, that means like frozen yogurt or something? <gasps> oysters and frozen yogurt, should we go? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> wow, look at all these big fancy stores in here. I always wanted one of these purses, the Balencia. Do you? Well, Aga? Wait, how do you say this, Melon? Do you know? Balenciaga. You guys, it's obviously Balenciaga. Yeah, that's the designer. Oh, okay. You guys don't know anything. <laughs> Melvin, check it out. What? Philip, please. You don't think that's the Philippines, is it? Where our parents might be? This has got to be it. Our parents are probably really hip, too. Yeah, even this little skull thing here. My spirit animal. Do you see any Filipinos? <laughs> no Filipinos. There's no one in there. Yeah. Hey, V, how do you pronounce that? Verse Ace, right? Looks right to me. Yeah, I think it's Verse Ace. And Verse Ace has a nice little sale. And maybe we'll find something here at the Dulce and Gabina. Juchi and Ga Banana. Oh, I've heard of that before. Yeah, yeah. They have a republic too. Yeah, they do. <laughs> wow, V, you should get this. You would look really good in this. Wow. Maybe we should get it for my birthday, Regina. Oh. I, I heard you got me a birthday gift, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's coming in the mail. Well, maybe you can get me this throne or something. Oh, oh. hey. Pearls! Pearls! It's pearls. It says, in a place filled with pearls. Look at the swirls. 
we don't need to get oysters. Maybe the place we've been looking for all along was here. Well, that means we can't be far away from the swirls. Guys, look. Look at these water fixture things. Oh, they look so cool. Oh. Don't they look like, uh, swirls? <laughs> that's the swirl that's in the note. Oh, yeah, because we're in a place of pearls. Find the swirls. We yeah. found the swirls. The pearls are yeah, right the pearls there. the pearls are right behind us. And then now the swirls are here. Do you know what Minnesota is known for? Tornadoes. It's pretty much a tornado. It's a water tornado. Oh, devastating. Are we supposed to break these things and find the clue? Oh, no, 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 no violence. Maybe we look high and low and maybe we'll stumble across a note or something. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Right. I haven't seen anything, guys. This is kind of scaring me just looking at this. Ooh. Maybe this is how you can get over your fear of water. How do you feel? Ooh. I don't think this is gonna cure me. Oh. <laughs> Maybe V should handle all these mini ones. I'll get the medium ones. PZ9, you look at the tall ones? There's only like one tall one here. Well, I don't feel or see anything. I need oh. Chad here. Yeah, he is the tall one. Regina, right here. Oh, grab that thing. I'm just making it dramatic. It's a clue, we did it. <gasps> What does it say? Lucette Bunyan is feeling blue. Find the next clue within her shoe? So what's a Lucette Bunyan? Paul Bunyan? He has a girlfriend or like a sweetheart? Her name is Lucette. What does this have to do with Philippines? California? Melvin and Regina? This is all over the place. What's this Mr. E guy up to? I wish he gave us a number to call him by or at least like email him or something. That's true. Yeah, and what's with the shoe? Is Lucette Bunyan, Cinderella in disguise? Why is she losing a shoe? You know, all these clues are about Minnesota. And you're from Minnesota, V. It's starting to look like these clues aren't about me and Melvin at all. I share that sentiment. But I know who my parents are. I don't get why these clues are about me then. Is it about me? Or is it just about Minnesota? Maybe Chad was supposed to be on this mission instead. Where's the shoe at? Where does Cinderella stay? Y is Cinderella or is it Lucette? I'm so confused now. Well, let's find a place that we could discuss this note. Where are we going? Finding more clues. It's kind of fun. I'm having a good time treasure hunting, you know, yeah. looking for these clues. But it is really weird, the content of these clues. If you've ever done a treasure hunt where all the clues that you find are about yourself, it's not a good feeling. It is really weird. What I'm scared of is like, you're finding clues about the Philippines. I'm finding clues about California. What does that mean? Are our parents separated? Dads in the Philippines, moms in California? Who's could gonna be. go where? It might not even just be parents. It could be grandparents. That's true. Aunt, auntie and uncle. Or we're not even related. Uh, I don't know. I think we're related. Right? I don't remember if I've ever been to the Philippines before. Seems like a fun place with all those beaches and stuff. I want to go. Well, your Tagalog sucks. Hey, <laughs> I understand. Same here. Philippine flights are more expensive, so have fun. Oh, what if I don't want to? Look at that I haven't guy. been in this hotel before. Look behind you guys. What is that? It's a huge chandelier. There's a whole little room inside of it. Can we get one for the safe house, V? Yeah. This that'd be big. Beautiful. Yeah. It's gonna cost a lot. <laughs> Look over there. There's a big old shoe. People are taking pictures of it. Oh, I want a picture with it. Can't we just take like a five minute break so I can get a picture? Okay, sure. <laughs> Fine. It's not like we're in a rush to find out what this Mr. E guy has to say about us or anything. All right, I'll take a picture now. Okay. For Instagram. Cute. Maybe you should take a picture inside of it. <laughs> Tell me what it smells like in there. <laughs> what? It's a clue. This is another Minnesota clue. Here, let's take a look in uh, better lighting and quieter conditions. Okay. It does make sense because isn't Paul Bunyan ginormous? Lucette Bunyan is also ginormous. That's probably what he meant. A ginormous shoe. Duh, no wonder. You're right. Next to a ginormous chandelier. Now we gotta look for a ginormous Sia. Oh, uh, who? The singer. The oh, singer, Sia. to swing from it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so slow. Of course, Lucette Bunyan would be a giant just like Paul. This is also a giant spoon with a giant cherry on it from Minnesota. This has got to do with you and Chad, B. Okay, reviewing all these clues here with a spoon bridge and cherry, that's very Minnesotan. It's in Minneapolis. Lucette Bunyan, she's Minnesotan. Because she's with Paul Bunyan and the Blue Ox. You can't get any more Minnesotan than that. So what is going on with all these clues? Well, something's happening in Minnesota. Are there hackers there? Did they move the headquarters to Minnesota? Oh my gosh. I'm going to call Chad, actually, just yeah. see if he knows anything. Chad! What's up, V? Are you finding any clues about Minnesota? Because I'm finding a ton. We're finding a ton of clues about the East Coast. East Coast clues? Well, Minnesota is in the... Midwest. Midwest, I knew that. And then all these giant things, Chad. Spoons, oxes. 
Bunions? Shoes? What? Getting kind of worried because my family's in Minnesota still. Do you want to call your family beat just, just to make sure they're okay? I'll give them a call. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Chad. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm going to call my parents now. Okay. It's ringing. Come on, Mama V and Papa V. Your call has been... Uh, went to voicemail. I mean, it's like pretty late over here. There's like a huge time difference. They're probably in bed. Is it just a sketchy feeling when no one's picking up? I mean, yeah. how often do you usually call home, V? Not as often as I should. I mean, with all the clues that we've been finding, yeah. stuff about the Philippines, stuff about California, and now stuff about... Minnesota. <laughs> There's something going down. I want to talk about it over with Chad and Daniel to see what they find. We better just meet up with them. Okay, let's go. So who do you guys think this Mr. E is and what's up with him? What's his deal? I don't know. I can't tell if he's a good guy or a bad guy yet. I mean, yeah. there's all these clues that we're finding about your family. That's pretty cool. Those are all good, right? I think he's pretty clever with the name he chose. Unless his last name really starts with an E. Otherwise, the whole Mr. E thing. That's pretty catchy. Oh, That'd be my rap name. Mr. E. Mr. E. <laughs> yeah. I just found that out now. That's really? pretty cool. But Regardless. if this Mr. E guy is with Project Zorgo, that means California, the Philippines, Minnesota, oh, and somewhere on the East Coast. Maybe they're all individual oh, traps for us. No. Well, he had like baby pictures of me. <laughs> kind of creepy. <laughs> this Mr. E guy is definitely creepier than Project Zorgo, but his intentions are a little different. <gasps> There's an ox over there. Whoa. He's not blue though. I'm still trying to figure out who Mr. E is. I have my suspicions. If it's a PC member, I'm thinking of two it could be, but that's it. Yeah, what do you find interesting? Do you think Mr. E is a good guy or a bad guy? Comment down below. He's creepy as heck. Chad, Daniel, you won't believe what, what we found at the strip. You won't believe what we found. We, we found all this stuff about Daniel. Tell him, Daniel. Yeah, it turns out my mom, my dog, and my sister. sister. What? You have you a, got a sister? Uh, she should be a spy ninja. Well, I gotta find her first. What if she's a PZ member, though? <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, you're right. She probably is. Just like you were a PZ member, now she's probably part of them too. Because the dog is a PZ member. Your sister might be a PZ member. Right. It runs in the family, maybe. Your mom's probably the leader. <gasps> oh my gosh. I never thought about that before. I have to figure it out. It turns out my dog, sister, and mom are all in the New York, New Jersey area. Cool! You get to see Times Square? I mean, that's cool and all, but my family and dog? That's oh. so much more. But Times Square, though. <laughs> well, V, what did you guys find out? So I found all these crazy giant clues. Giant, giant spoon. Giant. giant cherry. Giant ox. All these clues from Minnesota. Minnesota? I thought we were ta looking for, like, Filipino clues, and now it's going to turn to Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh. So it's about us, then. What about you guys? Are you yeah. guys in danger or something? Who do you guys know that live in Minnesota? All of our families, my parents, her parents. This Mr. E guy seems to have a huge fascination with us and our families and wherever they are. How does he know so much? What, what a what's creepy. What's so funny, Daniel? I'm sorry. Yeah, what's so funny? I just looked so buff in the viewfinder. You did? Ridiculously buff. Did Who? you guys see that? Me. You? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. The Daniel, why quit looking at yourself and smiling, okay? I'm glad you I'm find sorry. yourself attractive. We're trying to figure out all of our families and stuff right now. I'm so sorry, guys. Go on. After our mission to the library, we found that Mr. E had a picture of me as a little child. He also left behind a clue that stated something about the Philippines. If Mr. E is hinting that something is happening over there, and my name is all over that mission, I'm taking it. Your parents might be there. Who knows? Your grandparents? I don't know. Could even be Project Zorgo. And if it means that I have to leave the safe house to check out what's happening, I'm gonna do it. All alone? Who else is gonna do it? <laughs> oh. You guys are gonna have to stay here and man the safe house. Melvin, if you're going to the Philippines, that is on the other side of the world. You're gonna need an eye in the sky keeping an eye out for you. You're gonna need Daniel's handy dandy drone. Right, wait, Daniel? Wait a minute, Chad. We talked about this, Daniel. That's my drone. You said Melvin should take it with him, right? I guess you can take it. I appreciate this, and I'm sure this will come in handy on my missions. And I don't know if I can trust this Mr. E, but I gotta do it for the spine engines. I'm gonna miss you, Melvin. Stay safe out there, okay? I found clues that led to my parents being in California. Disneyland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Hollywood. Are you gonna be a movie star? Oh, hopefully. The YouTube star is way better, trust me. So wait, you think your parents are in California? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I need to go travel to California to find my parents. Let's hear the California accent. It's really important, Regina, that you don't stand out like a sore thumb in California. You gotta okay, blend in okay. with you gotta blend in with the crowd, you know? Yeah, Let's yeah. hear your Californian accent. Repeat after me, okay? Uh, hello, uh, how you doing? <laughs> That's 
like German or something. Oh my god, the traffic on the 405? It's gonna take two hours to get to my destination. You are amazing. That's perfect. <laughs> Whoa. When Regina comes back, I'm a little bit worried she might not be the same person, guys. <gasps> You're right. I'm gonna miss the old Regina. I'll still like you guys. It's fine. So I have to go to New York or New Jersey or both? I don't know. They're really close to each other. And Daniel said they're pretty much the same thing. <gasps> I don't know. All why. you people who oh. live there are probably gonna yell at him for saying that. They both start with the word new. That's true. You're probably gonna be running into your dog. Mm -hmm. Now your dog might not remember you. It might bark at you, it might go crazy. So you're gonna need something that's gonna help you in that situation. You need a dog toy. Here we have Whoa. a fruit ninja sensei. Dogs love chewing on this guy. He hears so. this squeaky sound. Oh, he'll just come running. Yeah. He'll, me and him will be best friends he'll again. Jump into your arms and, and then, lick your face. And, and then I you can... could bring him back to the safe house and we yes. can all cuddle with him. Yes. Love a spy ninja dog. And I can hold him like I did in that one picture. Thanks, Chad, this is perfect. I think me and Chad need to stay here in Las Vegas and protect the safe house. Yeah. Just in case this Mr. E person is not trustworthy and this is all a huge trap to separate the spy ninjas. Mm -hmm. Just so he can break into the safe house and take it over, that's not gonna happen again. It's like the one year anniversary of losing your safe house. You're right. It's probably a setup and a trap. If you guys are finding clues about Minnesota, maybe our parents are in trouble. We should bring them here. They can help us protect the safe house. Yes, Whoa. let's do it. I'm gonna call them right now. Answer the phone. They're not picking up. Okay, well, I'll call my parents. I'll get them to come here. And maybe they can pick up your parents. Oh, I don't know. I'll ask them, okay? All right, Spy Ninjas, the next time you're going to see us, Melvin's going to be in the Philippines. Regina's going to be in California. Daniel's going to be in New York, Jersey. And Chad and I are going to be here. Maybe you're going to meet the Spy Ninja family. My family. Chad's yes. family. It's gonna... exciting. Spy Ninja dog. It's a huge mission around the world. Woo! Yes, Spy Ninja International. Yeah. Woo! All right, guys, are you ready for an international mission? Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye.